What's up, guys? I want to show you this new build. It revolves around the Ticlandian Visage. Um, and I think it's a pretty powerful build right now, especially with the way certain skills work. Um, this helm, what it does is when you cast Horrify, for a few seconds, anything that's near you gets frozen or uh, feared and rooted. So, as you can see right here, I have this guy above my head. As long as it's above my head, things near me are going to be frozen. Okay, they're not going to move. So, that stun lock is nice. The problem is, we already have two good helms. We have Mask of Jerum, and we have the Quetzala Coatl, which are the two best-in-slot helms for particular builds. Well, for this particular build, you're not going to need any of those things. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have the Jade Harvester set on which is obviously very helpful, but you, you won't need this. All you will need really is Horrify with Frightening Aspect, Piranhas, some sort of damage dealing skill, and then Locust Swarm. And Locust Swarm, we're going to use Diseased Swarm. And it seems like this either is really, really strong or it's glitched, okay? So right now what happens with Diseased Swarm is when a mob dies, it puts a little uh, gas cloud above the body, a small gas cloud. It lasts for a few seconds. If other mobs pass through this gas cloud, they take supposedly 75% weapon damage per second. I can tell you that they're not taking that. <laughs> they're taking much more than that. Um, um, they're taking like crazy amounts. <laughs> You know, I've seen it hit for like 30 million. So that's not normal. Okay. And what's crazy is these clouds, they stack. So if you have like three or four, um, and then you grab like a few, uh, like you, you bring an elite into there, it's going to melt. Like your, your, your gas clouds could be doing like 200 million per tick. Okay. Um, and to show you, we're gonna just gonna try it out. We're gonna go find like a nice small zone. Uh, let's go kill Sledge. Find a nice small zone and just kill everything. Okay. Uh, and you know, no Unity trick. I'm not using Unity. I'm not using any glitches right now. Aside from this possibly being a glitch, uh, I am using a Thunder Fury on my follower. But yeah, simple build. So, I just activate Horrify. Find mobs, just you know. Oh shit, we got it. Oh, okay, now that might be a problem. Elite mobs. I don't know if you see what's going on here, but we're just. Holy shit, and then we got reflect, cat bless. Reflect. What's nice about the Clandian Visage is they really, um, it's a perfect tool to just buy you time. So, ideally I wanted to keep that pack with the rest of the group, but, um, oh, I got chest armor. Um, but the reason why we couldn't is just because they have teleport and reflect. Those are kind of difficult things to deal with. As you can see, like, everything else just died here anyway. Um, let's see if we can skip all these groups. And of course we can, because you know we just run through. Everything's frozen. Everything's stunned. It's, it's too fun. Alright, here we go. We can come up here. Stun a lot of things. Put the buff on a lot of things. Continue to stun things. And just kind of group them up together. And you can see they're taking crazy damage. There we go, stun everything, keep it up. And those are pretty big kicks, guys. Really something. Oh, sledge, let's go find sledge. Let's just up there. 
That was almost that's good. And what's perfect is that uh, you can pretty much I look at Sledge take damage. He's gonna die. Like have you ever killed Sledge that fast? With a a Jade Harvest Fish Doctor on T6? Probably not. Single tar target damage is usually one of the poorest things for a, a Jade set Doctor. And, and we kind of just took him down pretty quickly. That's nice. We can open a we can open a chest. We can get elites. Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, I guess we can. Guys, this is pretty powerful. Like, we are literally just running around, stunning everything, putting a couple dots. Like, I am literally just left click or uh, pressing three and then pressing four. It's so perfect because, I mean, already the horrified cooldown is so low. And we're just... Trying to run. It's just such a powerful uh, option. So I don't know. I mean, to me, it looks like we're doing pretty good damage. Um... And I suggest you all give it a try. Uh, to Calandia and Visage. And this. It's just very, very powerful com combination right now. Give it a try. Like, the problem with this this helm, I feel, is like, it kind of pigeonholes you from trying a bunch of uh, the classic builds, like Jade Harvester or um, um, pet builds. Because, you know, let's face it, Mask of Jerem is better. And Quetzal Quattle doubles your damage. They're better. They're better things. Um, but as you saw right now, because of the power of this rune, we don't need those expensive sets anymore. We can just rely on this. So give it a try. You know, tell me what you think. Um, you know, I could probably put CDR here and uh, you know lower my cooldowns even more. But um, yeah, it's a powerful build. It's very powerful. 